forging cyber, forging cyber security. Secure Ninja. Hey everyone, I'm Alicia Webb with Secure Ninja TV. Now, our free preview of Secure Ninja's online Sensei series has generated such a positive reaction that we've decided to give away every single module from this Cyber Kung Fu course, featuring Larry Greenblatt, Tom Upjagrove, and me. If you like what you see and would like to experience a Secure Ninja training course in person at any of our training locations, we have some amazing time-sensitive specials for you. Just visit secureninja.com specials for all of the do not miss deals. And now here is your free module from Cyber Kung Fu for the Certified Ethical Hacker version 8. Enjoy! Hey, hi. Uh, welcome back to uh, part 3 of module 3 which is uh, Introduction to Metasploit. Okay, we're still scanning, but... Uh, so, we have in front of us um, all the exploits mm -hmm. that uh, we pulled up in that 2003 box, right? Yep. Okay, so, uh, what was the IP address again of that 2003 server? That was 192.168.56.102. Great, so we're gonna go back to our, um, our backtrack machine. Okay. We can drop that. And Open up another terminal, just one. All right, so I want you to type MSF console. Let's make this bigger. Oops. Not live? <laughs> there you go. Yep. Perfect. Takes a little while for uh, Metasploit to come up, but Metasploit is a tool that's uh, built on a framework. Uh, it's an open source tool, um, which means that it can be downloaded for no charge. Uh, there are contributors uh, all over the globe that are adding to it. Uh, and basically, uh, it consists of um, exploits, um, code that's known to attack certain services, um, uh, as well as payloads. So a payload could be, um, uh, I could get a shell in a machine, I could get a shell that comes back to me, I can even run something like VNC server, uh, VNC is like a remote, uh, remote control that a lot of people use, uh, but I can actually get a VNC shell uh, in that machine and come back so that I'm actually looking at the screen. Right. So there's a lot, of, a, lot, a lot of uses for this. Um, we're just basically going to uh, take the most basic approach to it. Um, so the first command we need is search. So I want you to type uh, type search in here. Okay, you can turn that to um, face you if you want. Yeah, search space. Um, ms zero eight underscore zero six seven. Right now, uh, basically, we're going to highlight that whole. See this X? Yeah, that was good. So we're going to highlight that whole exploit windows SMB080.67. Right here. And hold on, I think I moved that. Oop. Uh. <laughs> this um, right here? Yeah, that's okay. You can still highlight it. So, can I like this? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> so what you do is once you get in there, you just right click and you copy it. You could type it in, all right? So the next command is use. We want to use this exploit, and we'll just paste in just what we copied. Okay. We know that uh, it's correct. Uh, usually, the, so the comeback would be, we'll see the exploit sitting there in red. Okay. Right? Good. All right, so I think the next command I want you to know is um, we want to see what the options are. So we say show space options. All right, so we see this uh, our host here. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, that simply means the remote host, the machine we're going after. So we're going to um, actually set it. So you, you type set space our host and space, and then type in the IP address of that machine. Good, enter. All right. Now, uh, we need to um, find a way to deliver it. 
uh, a payload. Um, so we could type the payload in that, that we want to use. This is going to be a w Windows generic shell. But I want you to type, just to see all the payloads, do um, show payloads. Mm -hmm. You're going to see a whole mess of stuff kind of come popping up there. Okay? So I want you to scroll up to the top of the window, up to the very top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Keep going, keep going. Up. Oh. Come on down a little bit. Keep going. All right, uh, a little more. Okay, good. So up here, I think what we do is we, we moved our window out a little bit. Okay, it's a little better. So this um, uh, generic shell, reverse TCP, mm -hmm. this is what we want to use. So what we do is we just copy that. Right? Why do we want to use that one? Um, all of these will work to a degree. This seems to work the, uh, the best. So um, the way I've kind of developed my skill set with this is by taking each one and trying and seeing what the effect is. Mm -hmm. And that's really the way to kind of progress with this. Uh, you know, t you, what you do is you um, study the user groups like um, on LinkedIn, there's a uh, Metasploit group, you know, and people are, yeah, are kind of working with it will throw up what they try doing this, what they try doing that. So I find this is a really, uh, I mean, it is generic. Uh, it gives us a reverse shell. I mean, you'll see the result. Um, uh, that comes with this. Uh, each of them, some of them are very specific, uh, trying to create a, a particular type of uh, um, payload. Okay, so basically it's the way I'm going to deliver this uh, shell code um, to that machine. All right, so, and we're um, trying to get a shell in their computer. Yes. And that's what a reverse shell is. Yep. Okay. Uh, so now I do um, uh, set payload. Right? and paste that in. Okay. Do another show options. Good, so, um, so you can see that we have the remote host, right? Mm -hmm. Remote host is set. We set that. Right? Remote port, very important. The remote port you don't change because the remote port, port 445, is the SMB service. And if we go back here, looking at our Zen map, we saw that uh, in our ports, uh, 445 was open. Okay, so uh, basically this is um, uh, NetBIOS over TCP. Okay, now what we don't have set is the local host. Okay, so uh, if you recall what our IP address is here? Yeah. Okay, what is, it, what is our IP address on this machine? 192. Uh -huh. 168, just one digit off. All right, so you got to put a set, yeah, oh, just set? back up, yeah. So go uh, set L host. Missing a dot. Yep. It's easy to backseat drive, you know, when uh, somebody's typing. Mm -hmm. you know? 56.103. Great. Us. Hit enter. All right. Uh, do one more show options, just for just for the sake of seeing uh, that everything is set. Okay, great. So um, we can see that we have our host set, mm -hmm. right? We have the right port. Okay, we have now we have the L host set. Um, we could change the port, but uh, let's leave it at the uh, default comeback port. So it, it's going to listen on port 444. 4444. Okay. All right. So the last uh, command we need here is exploit. Exploit. Right, so type in exploit. And basically, exploit is pulling the trigger. Right. Mm -hmm. Just exploit? Yeah, enter. And it's going to run our exploit. Uh, our exploit ran real fast, and we now have a, um, a shell into that 2003 box. Wow. Um, but just to prove it, let's go, um, let's recurse um, back to. Um, C. So we're to C prompt. Okay, so we're going to um, make a directory in there. Um, create a, a directory name. Hmm. Mm -hmm. well, you were hacked. So <laughs> it looks like somebody hacked it before. So yep. uh, create, a, you were, create another one. Um, you, so you gotta you gotta hit uh, make directory. Oh, 
Mick. M K D I R. Oh. Yep. There you go. Man, you are a fast learner. I thought you were going to say a fast awesome. typer. That's great. <laughs> that too. Yeah. You're a pretty fast typer, too. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so if we now go back to our uh, 2003 VM, right? Um, right? We pull up uh, Windows Explorer, okay? All right? Go to C. Um, there is our. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and the reason we can see it this way is because this was a virtual machine on your actual right, computer. But right. in a real sitting situation, right. mm -hmm. it would be somewhere else. Right. So there's the one. There's the the one that somebody else got, and there's the one we made. Okay. This poor guy. He was hacked, and then he was hacked again. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah, really cool. Yeah, I love it. I mean, yeah. imagine the pranks. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> what other qu what do you what do you think? Um, well, let's let's go over those commands again. It was search. Search. First, we did the scan. We found the vulnerability, and then we um, search. We showed the options. Showed the options. Right. Um, so the options said we had a remote host, mm -hmm. right? So we have to point it to the attacking target. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, searched, we then did a, um, uh, uh, find, we found our payloads, right? right. So um, we found the payload that we wanted to use, which was the um, uh, GNR reverse TCP shell. Uh, then uh, we set our local host where we want it to, that shell to come back to. Okay? Uh, and then, in, in this case, uh, if I was running, say, uh, Metasploit really runs like a kind of a web service, so that if I had that box sitting someplace else and not on my machine, I was remoted into it, I would want the shell to come back to that, not necessarily to my machine. It just so happens that I'm running Metasploit right here on this box locally. So, so it, the we want to put in the uh, local host uh, where we want that that information to come back to. Uh, and then the last thing. Most important one is exploit. Exploit. Yeah. Pulling the trigger. Right. Now there are some, there are some other ways to do it. Uh, for instance, when uh, we did um, show, um, kind of hard typing this way. I did show payloads. Whoop. Um, oh. Um, I have to actually get out. Yes. Right, because now you're in the shell. Right. I'm still in. I'm still in the exploit, but now, in a sense, if I did um, show payloads, I have a whole other series of payloads here. Okay, so later on, we're going to use this thing called the interpreter, and the interpreter really is a series of scripts that will allow me to turn on web cameras. Um, grab all the passwords from that machine, mm -hmm. all the password hashes, uh, grab uh, administrative uh, rights to the machine, um, start processes, um, kind of uh, put a back door on it. So it's actually pretty pretty amazing. So these are all the things you could do. Yeah, so here we're kind of working into, you see this Windows interpreter. So these are all uh, types of um, um, interpreter script. So this is a more powerful um, application of it. Mm -hmm. So as we move along here, I would try to pull this one off. Windows interpreter reverse TCP. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think uh, um, I'm pretty impressed with the way you uh, kind of work through that. Okay. Thank you. Um, pretty impressed with the way you taught it. Definitely. And that is module two. Module three, part Module two. Module three. Module three, part two. <laughs> Introduction to Metasploit. And there's more to learn. Now we hope you've enjoyed this free module, but there's lots more. The Cyber Kung Fu course has 29 videos in all and will really help build you a solid understanding of the CEH version 8 curriculum. Don't forget, if you prefer to attend one of the Secure Ninja's courses in person at any of our training locations, you really need to visit secureninja.com slash specials for some amazing discounts and other deals. I'm Alicia Webb. Happy training. Secure Ninja TV is brought to you by SecureNinja.com, a world leader in cybersecurity training and certification. Our master instructors will help build you into a highly skilled and marketable security professional. Secure Ninja, forging cybersecurity experts.